don'tboardme.com. What you got here? Look at this simple yet satisfying cursor trail. You've probably seen interactive websites that use custom cursor trails tailored to their design. Many rely on third-party animation libraries, but we're going to build one from scratch with a few lines of code. Let's dive in. First, we only need one element, a div with a class of ball. I'm calling it ball because the Don't Burn Me site uses a ball as the cursor trail. Next, let's get the ball in shape. We'll set the height, width, background color, and border radius to make it look like a ball. Now comes the fun part, making the ball follow the cursor. First, we'll grab the ball element. Next, we need to track the mouse position. We'll use a mouse move event listener to store the x and y coordinates in variables. Now, let's update the ball's position based on the mouse movement. But wait, this feels too instant. We need to smooth it out with some animation. To make the ball lag behind the cursor, we can use the animate function. This method accepts two parameters, keyframes for defining the movement, and the options for timing and easing. That's it. With just a few lines of code, we created a smooth cursor trail effect. If you want to explore the full code, check out the code fin link below.